You still have that Neurox communicator, right, Garnock? Yes, right here. Neurox, this is Garnock. Meta, can you hear me? Meta reads you, Garnock. Meta, we have a plan, and we will need your help. Garnock's quest brings him to needing Meta's aid? Yes. We are going to assault our weir city, and we will be needing an airship with heavy artillery. Airborne gunship will take Nurex assembly team four days to complete. Four days? They can work that fast? Organics work too slowly, Professor Alexander Tordil. Nurex has the necessary schematics and all mechanical crew. Okay then. Meta suggests that it would take Organics approximately three days, 19 hours, and 57 minutes to travel to Nurex from your current location, as pinpointed on the communication device. How long would it take your men to ready their equipment, Kadok? We can be ready in a few hours. We'll be on our way. Thank you, Meta. Copy that, Garnock. Assembly will begin immediately. Time for Meta to collect what Kerwin owes Nurex. There is something you all should know. Follow me. What is this? A cave? This is the heart of our existence. Without it, we will not have a chance against Kerwin. Wow! What is that? This is our source of magic. When we exiled Kerwin, he lost any magical ability he had as an Emroy because he traveled so far away from it. As long as we have it among us, we will be able to wield the magic of old. Won't bringing it with us give Kerwin his magical advantage back? Yes, and that is to be considered among the risks. However, we have to assume that by now, your creator friend, Emily, may be used as a weapon against us if he has indeed successfully indoctrinated her. That's bollocks! Emily wouldn't let herself be used as a tool! Unlikely as it is, we must still consider it a possibility and prepare for it. <sighs> I don't know how comfortable I am with giving our enemies an advantage against us. But I can see that Kadok has a point. I know Emily's will is strong, but we'd be better off not taking any chances. Kerwin is a man of charisma. He's likely going to appeal to her desire to create, to hone her powers. More than likely, his intent is to get her intoxicated by her own powerful ability. I can't believe we're having this conversation. That sounds like his way of thinking to me. My men will load this among the other equipment. Emily, are you here? Yes, I'm here, Alice. Are you all right? I heard you came running in here upset. I'm all right. It's just that this entire world, nothing is as it should be. What do you mean? I'm just tired of the pain and death going on in this world. I feel like I should be doing something about it all since I'm the only acting creator here. I can understand that. Glad you can. Lord Kerwin seems to think that the life I create cannot be sustained, like they're going to do more harm than good. Well, depending on the creature, I can see how he'd be right. I just wish there was something I could do. I don't want to be here anymore. You too, huh? Yes. I've been here for years, and I've seen the corruption and the cruelty. Why do you stay here, then? When you join the Arwea military, you're in for life. I kind of wish I'd realized that back then. Maybe... maybe there is something you can do about it. Like what? We could escape. Together. <laughs> How so? If we can bring down the magic dampening field, I can summon something. A, a bird, maybe, to carry us out of here. I can make something else to keep the wall guards busy, so we won't be shot down. Hmm, that sounds risky. 
But I guess it's possible. How do you want to do this? Oi! What's with all the sneaking, Ellis? You gonna hit me with that pipe there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you better keep practicing those stealth skills, they rubbish. Thanks, I'll remember that. Gah! You hit like a baby. If you're gonna bonk someone on the head, don't do it like you're not trying to hurt them. Oh, like this then? That's it! Just like that! 